Hi there, it's Laura here from iHeart Planners, and I wanna share with you a little bit about my new Cricut Maker machine and a couple of the projects that I've made with it recently. Now, this video is sponsored by Cricut, and they did send me this maker and a few accessories to use in the, making these projects, and I am so grateful because I have been loving using this, and I can already tell you, you're gonna be seeing a lot more of me using this because it is amazing. I am honestly blown away by how easy it was to use. Like there, these projects were so easy. Everything just worked. Like the settings are built in and all of those things. So it just works. Now, before we dive in, take a minute and I would love to know in the comments if you have a cutting machine, if you're thinking of getting one, let me know. And if you have any questions about the maker or any of the projects, please let me know below. Or if you wanna see more tutorials or tutorial style videos or other videos of things that I've made using the maker, let me know. And I would love to hear what you wanna know about next. Now, I made these iron on vinyl labels for my son's toy bins. And I also made these customized coasters that have a na the names of everyone in our family. Both of these projects, so easy. It took so little time and everything just worked perfectly right away. I was super impressed. And so these both did require the easy press, which I also, blown away with how easy it is, how light it is. These, I just love, I put a picture and words because my son is not completely reading yet. And so I wanted him to be able to know like what goes in what bin. And he loved it. Like he felt so special. He was so excited. I love it. You love it. About the labels that I made for him. And he is actually putting things away where they go because he's all excited about the labels and knows where everything goes. And I just love the look of them. And they just go so well on a canvas bin. Now, these coasters I love because they're super good quality ceramic coasters and they have the names of each member of our family. So I feel like if I have them out on the counter or the table, we're not gonna forget whose drink is whose, especially if we're using like the same type of glasses, we'll know exactly who whose is what. And I love the ability to customize like this so I can put our names on it and we can do something like that. And that was so easy to do. Now I'm gonna dive in and share just a little bit about the process of making these projects. And if you are interested in me creating a tutorial style video that's more in depth at some point, be sure to let me know in the comments. I am more than happy to do that. So first for the iron-on transfer, I took the blue iron-on transfer, I placed it on the mat and we loaded it in after I had created my design with the Cricut software and then it got to cutting and I just love this part, watching it basically magically cut my design then it was done, so we unloaded it, and you can see my daughter there, she's five, she's taking it off, she's actually very good at this part, and she's pretty good at weeding designs, um, we weed these out of vinyl all the time, super easy to weed, and so you'll see that that clear paper is like the backing paper, so that you can apply the transfer in one piece, so I was able to have both the image and the letters together, which I highly recommend because that way you won't have to position two things. Like they're just all positioned together. And I like having the words in the pictures so that he can see both of them. We're taking out all the centers. And then I first, I preheated this canvas bin. That's just a canvas bin that I got from Target. I've had it for a long time. I just kind of lightly preheated it. You'll see I have the Cricut mat kind of in, under it so that it you know, the heat won't go through. And then I place the vinyl on the bin where I'd like it to go. And since it's clear, I can easily see exactly where it's going. Ideally, I would have had the Cricut's heat resistant tape to tape it down. But unfortunately, I didn't have any of that. But it still worked just fine just by me placing it down. And then since I placed the actual heat press straight down, it worked perfectly fine. And then I did 350 degrees for 40 seconds, I believe. 
and I'm just putting medium pressure, so not a lot of pressure there. And then this is my absolute favorite part. So like I take it off and then while it's warm, you can remove it. And it's just like seriously magic. Like I always expect it to do nothing. And then it's actually on there completely perfectly. It doesn't come off. It's securely attached and it looks great as you can see. And I did this, you know, four times for each of his different toy bins. The next project that I did, the ceramic coasters, I'm kind of skipping to the part that I think is the most fun and exciting part. So you'll see that I put the design down and then the coaster on top of it. So I'm using infusible ink, Cricut infusible ink here. That is not the same thing as Cricut's iron on vinyl. It literally basically infuses to the material that it goes on when you use the Cricut plank. So these are coasters from Cricut. They also have canvas tote bags, shirts, onesies, other things like that that you might want to put this onto. And it literally kind of becomes one with the material that it's on so it can't come off. And so I have place these on here. What's really cool about this is that with these ceramic coasters, you'll see that they're upside down basically. So I lay the design down and then I put the top of the coaster on top of it and you heat them from the top. So from the back of the coaster and because they are ceramic, the heat will then go through the entire coaster and it will infuse the ink onto it. And then I'm putting freezer paper on top and I'm adjusting it to 240 seconds or four minutes at 400 degrees. So I simply place the Easy Press right down on top of that freezer paper, which is on top of the two coasters that I'm doing. And then obviously I've sped up this footage quite a bit and I let it run for the four minutes. And when it's done, I just lift it off and no need to put any pressure on it. So that was super nice. I could do other things while it was heating up and then I simply take the freezer paper off and set the cardstock off to the side while I do the next two because they do need to cool completely before you remove them just because they're I mean they're honestly too hot to handle and then I just lift up like it's that easy just lift it up and it's on there perfectly no issues at all just lifts right off it's just so fun and cool one of the things that I'm so excited about for this machine is that it cuts over 300 different materials. So it really accurately cut like this particular iron-on vinyl and this infusible ink, even though you can see how thin and delicate it is, it did a perfect job. And then it will also cut thicker materials like felt and fabric. It has a rotary blade and I am super excited. I know I will definitely be making some hair bows for my daughter with felt. I have some ideas for some pretty unique labels with balsa wood that I am excited to try out and of course y'all you all know how much I love vinyl labels and this machine will do that as well so there's basically nothing that it won't do and you'll see that I have a whole bunch of materials here and the range of materials that they offer is like super amazing so this is I love this sparkly iron-on and when my daughter saw this she's five she was like mommy you need to make me something so I will definitely be making her something with that this is the infusible ink that I used on the coaster project and what I love about this is I still have a lot of this left um, it didn't even take that much ink or that much of these sheets to make that I have this really cool holographic iron on um, this pattern I'm so excited to try this pattern iron on the patterns are just super cute they also you can draw they have like markers and pins that you can draw with uh, and then they have beautiful card stocks here um, and you can just imagine how many different things you can make with a card stock it does a fantastic job of just cutting the card stock so accurately the first time and it makes it really easy you just select when you're cutting which type of material you're cutting on and it just works like you don't really even have to think about it and that's what i love so much about the cricut machine I hope this video has given you an idea of what you can do with a Cricut Maker and inspired you to maybe try some projects of your own. Let me know in the comments below if you have a maker or if you were to get a maker, what would be the first project that you would wanna try?